pose a question to any Ugandan today as to why they don't want to venture into agribusiness. Regardless of the fact that Uganda's backbone is agriculture, and they will tell you the following, capital, lands, and time. But have you heard of contractual farming? Do you want to know more about it? Tonight on NBS Agribusiness, we'll give you more details on contractual farming with me, Diane Nabimanya. My name is uh, Bed Ben, uh, one of the founders of this uh, mighty YPA Goats Investment Project. A project that began about 11 years ago. Uh, before it went commercial, it was at first research. This idea was derived from the fact that we had plenty of land, plenty of shrubs, which shrubs we were fighting against. We had good weather that helps the shrubs grow well so instead of looking of how to use these shrubs naturally for better use we had to clear them to make grazelands for only animals uh, basically grazers which are cattle and maybe sheep we did a background study, we did a lot of research, we found out that these goats can make well in areas like this. Uh, most of the people in the cattle corridor, we are doing a mistake to think that we can take care of the cattle. We should be in this business. Why? This business is easy to handle. One goat takes at most three kgs of food in one day. The cattle takes about between 20 and 30. So you see, the consumption rate is very high. But if we invest in these goats, it means we are going to have plenty of food serving many, many animals. These goats are very profitable in a way that they have to give birth at least once a year or twice but ours because we do meat production basically we have managed to ensure that these goats give birth at least once a year why because we want them to be very fat we want them to have the muscles the moment they spend a lot of time doing the the feeding it means they are going to secrete all the nutrients to the kids through the udder which will make this goat skinny. You can see all these goats look very pretty and they are very, very attractive. Why? Because they are meat, basically for meat. We don't do dairy farming, goats dairy farming. We don't do anything, but we do meat production. These breeds is a good one. Because it is uh, a combination of three breeds. One, Karahari. Two, Bua. Three, Mobende. So we mix the three races to get what we call a 75%. All together. Bua, we crossed it with the loco. We got a 50 Bua, a 50 loco. Then we crossed it with the Karahari to get a 75 of the three. So it means this breed... Each breed has its advantages over the other. So we looked for all the advantages and put them in one goat. When you test our type of goat, uh, basing on the, on the feeds we feed, on, we feed them on, and the kind of care we, take, uh, we do give them, they have a very quite different test from any other goat you'll ever test. Those that have been here have tested and they will test five. 
this, this breed is very, very good. And those are the breeds you see that we have.